is up the world of the living? My name is Lex and welcome back to Truly Bedrock Friends. Today I'm wearing my fancy uh, Ushanka hat because we will be going off into the finally at last into the snowy biome to do some work on the Prankus mansion I've been teasing over and over for well ages now. <laughs> Uh, the Prankus Mansion is where, I remind you, we will be hiding out. Uh, just so people can, uh, who we already pranked can't really get to me as easily. Which is why the Prankus Mansion will be also trapped and booby-trapped times and times and times over again. Which is why I'm currently pulling a villager with me. Because, my friends, as I already promised you, the Prankus is a legendary creature that steals babies. So we will need to steal some babies from some villagers who we will trick into making babies first and foremost. So this guy is going into that snowy village and he will get get it going with one of the natives because there's only one of the natives. I accidentally killed every single other one. And uh, yeah, then we're going to steal their babies. I have honestly sounds like a horrible plan, but uh, you know, it's a fun one. I think it's going to be fine. Is it going to be fine, buddy? Are you ready for all of your children to be stolen, zombified, and, uh, you know, made into... Ah, this, this hill. Made into slaves to a mythical creature of me. I don't know, he seems contempt with his fate. Okay, I delivered this guy over here. They have no golem, this is okay. And only to realize that the whole time... In this village, actually, there was a second villager anyway. He was just hiding away from me. No doubt. No doubt. Trying to avoid the creepy new person who also looks like a zombie. All the time. Uh, and I found him. I still found him. Because I was rummaging through their houses looking for beds. Now, my intention here is to actually make a living, breathing village. By which I mean I'm, go I'm just not gonna make a, a villager breeder. Even though that would be incredibly simple. I am not in the interest of an unlimited amount of uh, villager babies. I'm only in the interest of a certain amount of uh, zombie babies. Because there's only so many uh, zombie baby traps you can create before giving up. So, the baby zombie pr creation production line will sadly be manual. So, I apologize if you expected an uh, automated way. Uh, for now, we're doing the manual way and uh, that's the way I like it. The problem is that the villagers don't seem to be breathed in, even though they should be, because there's plenty of beds and I've given them like half a shulker box worth of a food. I don't know, maybe they just ha haven't synced up yet. Whatever, doesn't matter, I'll give them their time. In the meantime, I want to do something much more important, much more uh, impressive, much more hard. And hi, guy, uh, do you want some carrots? Here, have a stack. Well, 60, but whatever. Uh, go give it to the other people. Yes, yeah, spread the word. I'm a nice guy who gives people carrots and totally doesn't steal their children in the night. That I will steal your bed, so, you know, stay aware of me. Ooh. Anyway, don't dare. The reason we're even doing this here, by the way, is not just because the snowy biome and appropriate, but because I have a double scaly spawner. And that double scaly spawner right now is all right. It's okay. It's an okay uh, scale spawner, but it would make a great, a great trap. Kind of. Not really. Basically. I don't know if I explained this already. I'm pretty sure I did a couple of episodes ago, but you might have forgotten. The, tr uh, the down there scale spawner is a double spawner one, and it produces skeletons and it funnels them into a single spot. But what if we would take that particular spot, and made a little redstone contraption over there that would make it so that upon a flick of a lever, all of these skeletons would suddenly stop being funneled here and got funneled to the surface of the world into a house potentially populated with people who came here to kill me. <laughs> yeah, I want this place to be my control room and the first control I want to implement is flood the house with skeletons. And frankly, that sounds like a fun project. So, oh no, let's not do that. So what I'm saying is I'm just gonna call the herd and the way I think we'll implement this is 
a couple of sticky pistons are gonna pull these two blocks back and the skeletons are gonna drop into a separate little, little water funnel which will go all the way say um, here and that's when a bubble elevator will basically get them to go up I think that's a plan enough so let me just do some preparations because me the foresightful person that I am has brought specifically zero redstone to this very redstone heavy project I'm just you know I'm, I'm great at this trust me okay this should work but I'm making no promises you know just in case um, boom boom there we go this part is simple this there's nothing to be broken in here but but we also need to take care of this and that and there we go skeletons are spawning instantly which is great okay and we remove these blocks and uh, wait for the skeletons to pile up wait for the skeletons to dude 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 are you are you seriously not get, get in whatever 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 all right we got these guys open the hatch Okay, okay, they went down. They went down. They're, they're still going down, going down, going down, going up. Okay, slowly but surely. And then, and then, if we just go up, there they are, all of my sons. Um, yeah, all of my sons. Th this is what sons do. They shoot you. That's it, it, it's okay, guys. It's don't don't worry. Yeah, not exactly. Should have made like a little fence around that place at least, if not like a proper block off system. Say, isn't there a bug where like a spawner stays active even when you go away for a bit? So why any of that, you might be wondering. Well, my friends, I don't actually plan. My plans go way above just flooding a certain basement with skeletons. No. My plan is for that chute that we created to actually go above the ground level, above the rooms of the mansion I'll be building and into the hidden ceiling level. So there's going to be a second story entirely made for skeletons. And in that second story, the skeletons will be buffered in this particular bit. And then I also have two separate levers to redistribute the skeletons across the other rooms of the mansion. One of those levers will open up this hatch and, yep, channel all the skeletons that piled up into the room down here, killing any intruders, potentially. And then, if I know, if I get the hunch that the intruders are not no, no longer on this side, I want to be able to trigger these ones and force the skeletons into this room on this side of the ha of the of the main shoot M creating at least two choke points for the players that might come to kill me to prank me to get killed by skeletons at let's put it that way also bonus points if any of them get curious and attempt to like infiltrate the depths of my base by enderpearling up he up here it's going to be hilarious if they get destroyed redstone wire will be a bit of a problem here we need to have these levers uh, these pistons be controlled by the levers in the down there in the control room plus we need some sort of a signifier down there in the control room that the players are actually in these rooms so we can kind of track where the players are maybe pressure parades maybe something else i don't quite know and third, and that's actually not really obligatory, I think a good idea with this amount of monsters would be a, compl a total lockdown lever that I like pull, which would flood the rooms in which the skeletons will gather with lava, as to get rid of the, all the skeletons. Might ruin some of the carpet, might, uh, might ruin some of the, you know, walls or whatever, whatever. I'm okay with that. Some lava doesn't hurt. Also, that lava potentially can be the greatest the greatest weapon against the actual <laughs> players. Because while the skeletons can be bypassed by an invisibility potion, lava actually doesn't care. On the other hand, uh, lava can be bypassed by a fire resist potion, but 
you know, it's very, it's very improbable that someone will bring both an invisibility potion and a lava resist potion to this place. And there they go, finally! Yeesh, guys, took you long enough. So, thank you for the babies. Yeah, keep making them, keep making them out. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Keep, keep, keep on going. Keep on going, everyone. Okay, where's the nearest crafting bench? Oh, I'm the nearest crafting bench. I can, I can make one. Um... Excuse me, I'm wearing entirely the wrong skin for this. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, quick! Steal the babies! Grab them! Get in. Get in the bot. Get in the bot. You've been very disobedient for all the five seconds you've been alive. Okay, bye! Thank you for the kids! Now to find a zombie to feed them to. Okay, kids, now to get you a second mom. <laughs> I actually got super lucky. This one came with a free hat and everything. What are you even looking at? Come on. Do the thing. Eat him. Eat him. With mouth. Nom nom. Delicious child. How are you so bad at this? Okay, there we go, got ourselves a little dead baby pit. Wow, that sounds way depressing after I actually spell it out. But that's basically what it is, so, uh, yeah. Okay, one... One's ready. The problem, of course, yeah, they will not burn up in the sunlight, because I made sure that there is actually a roof on top of them. But I did not actually make sure that there's a way to name tag them, so... Okay, the first two obviously are going to be easy. Because there's not a giant crowd. But the rest of them, I think I'll have to name tag before I drop them in. That still pretty much means that uh, uh, they're not gonna despawn. Because really nothing despawns on this stupid platform. But also, it should work just fine. It should work just fine. Okay, I've done quite a bit of work here on the actual server, not on the creative copy of it. And I'm ready to demonstrate the fruit of my labor as it were check this out for one um i started taking out yeah i built this i've added a ceiling which is also in this perforated way which looks decorative at first and you don't you, you are gonna pay attention you're gonna notice but the function of this perforated ceiling is actually to conceal which one of the yeah of the shoots of the holes is the one with this that the, the skeletons have been falling out of this whole time just in case one or the other person just decide to plug the hole up and really now that i think about it i should have made the ceiling kind of higher so it's harder to plug up the hole at least oh well we'll hope that nobody actually thinks of that or if they do <laughs> They're lost. I'm gonna still have the baby zombies in around here and around here. But right now, I just, yeah, I added some redstone wires. I wanted to demonstrate it. Check this out. This tower, imagine that these levers are gonna be way underground in the actual room with the spawner. So I press this one. There we go. Skeletons start falling out. I'm killing the skeletons. I am uh, killing the skeletons. I'm killing the skeletons. They're all dead. There we go. And uh, this liver. Skeletons. No skeletons, but... Uh, oh, that is, that is. So, there's your proof of concept. Skeletons do fall out of holes. Uh, I'm sure you all expected me to be able to con uh, construct as much. But, you will also notice that there's even more stuff going on around here in the... Uh, floor department because I only really installed the ceiling in the floor I have not got any materials on me that would allow me to figure out the walls and really the walls themselves Are actually kind of suspect at the moment check this one out for example Right here you have this door right actually uh, never mind uh, give me a moment There we go now this door is very interesting It's a door in a wall and you'd think that that would be like the most basic of the secret entrances ever. However, you know for a fact 
but from back in season one that I can spice it up with some interesting redstone mechanics. Check this out. The door currently, the, the painting is transparent. You can easily go through it. But here's the trick. I wanted at first to make it so that I just go through the painting, right? And I drop down and no one can find me. But paintings in Minecraft are so freaking suspect for any and all secret entrances that I decided that I will not that will not be enough. Instead, what I want to do is I want to go in, drop down, and as I fly down, some bizarre system, redstone system should notice that I'm flying down. I'm thinking a piece of a piece of string with an absorber pointed at it. And then that piece of string with an absorber pointed at it activates this lever and because the door is installed the opposite way where when it's redstone activated it is actually closed and not the other way around no other player can actually go through this painting so the painting appears perfectly still and perfectly fine on top of that in a perfect world what i would do is have several paintings one of which is the actual secret passage that locks up right after I jump into it. And the other is an open secret passage that just leads into a pit of lava. That would be just absolutely brilliant. And I don't want to show any of that on camera because I'm not decided yet. But I want to demonstrate the concepts. So that's one idea that I really like. The next idea that I really like is uh, twofold actually. Uh, you may notice that I started taking out the floor over here and that was a mistake. I, 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 I wanted to implement something very smart but I realized that it was uh, actually incredibly stupid. Uh, basically the idea was that I would put blocks of redstone ore inside here. Allowing me to detect when a player finally walked into here, right? However... Here's something I do, didn't realize. Red, blocks of redstone, uh, uh, of redstone or they basically they start glowing whenever you step on them, and uh, observers can detect that, detect that. I could create a system that does that easily. I what I didn't realize is that when monsters walk on them, they also get set off, as far as I remember, meaning that the system would be instantly compromised as soon as I release the first batch of skeletons. Like, instantly. And especially as soon as I release all the baby zombies. That's when the system is just borked and useless. Meanwhile, we have a much better use for the floor. Like, I would still install that idea. Just to de detect as, like, the players are progressing through my mansion. But then I realized that there's a better idea as to what to do with the floors. And that is, right underneath it, I might want to make... A system of tunnels that would complicate my own escape. But also confuse additionally anyone who would dare to follow. Imagine for a second that somehow the players would still get into it. Imagine they, they broke this, they found the door, they opened it manually, or like they broke the blocks, and they drop in. And they go, oh, okay, here, 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 turn, here, 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 turn. Here, here, here. Oh, there it is. They drop down into his into his laboratory and they drop into it and they instantly die of fall damage. <laughs> or even better, they go da 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 Aha! There is there it is, they drop into his laboratory and they drop in and there's just an empty room. Just an empty room. Maybe a sign like saying you're in here forever now. Bye. Something like that. <laughs> and basically what I want to do is I want to create this uh, system of tunnels that are basically a labyrinth through which I am the only person who knows the, uh, the exit because I memorized it. I would memorize it and that's how I would know my way into the, uh, into the final room. So I would, oh no, get into the secret entrance, which by the way, it will take some memorizing because I want there to be several secret entrances. But yeah. I would drop into the secret entrance, go quickly go through the entire labyrinth myself, get dropped all the way here, all the way into the control room, and quickly start flicking the levers 
to make everyone everybody's life even harder. Unfortunately, this implies that at one point there will be a moment when the players are already in here, but I am not in my control room just yet. And for that moment, sadly, the players would be free roaming it. So, okay, I, I call them the players, but let's call them what they are. The, the brutal vigilantes that set on killing me for my, uh, for my pranks. And so, for a brief moment, there, will, there might be an issue, because the players might have way too much time as I traverse the labyrinth to track me down and figure out how to get to my other secret entrances. So, in the labyrinth, I will need to have some sort of a lever that turns off all of the rest of the secret entrances. Maybe it's a, some sort of a system that just turns them all off as soon as one of them is triggered. That would be a nice idea. That also might lead to me being locked out of my own uh, secret room, but let's not think about that. I hope that it doesn't come to that. Anyway, point being, this is just one option. And uh, there are more, more options, like for example, I, kept, I could have several paintings uh, that couple of them have also secret entrances that live into different traps. I could have different traps on the fake drop shoots in here, but the problem is that as soon as as long as I'm not uh, you know deep enough for players to not see my name tag, they might track me down by the name tag. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. Might do this entire labyrinth idea, but uh, much deeper on like level 11 when nobody sees. Uh, anyway, point being, point being. This is nice, and I like it, and I'm gonna implement it. But I need some systems that don't rely on my action. I need actual traps. And I also, more importantly, need some system to be avoiding them myself. And that's gonna be a problem, because I'm a flipping idiot. Luckily, luckily, I at least already have some weapons of mass destruction bred up and ready for deployment. Look at them all. Look at them. All of them are renamed Disobedient Child, and so far there's just five of them, but they are adorable and I love them, and I will make more as the villagers over here keep producing the babies for me. There actually was a couple of babies. There was one child that just at one point shrugged at me, and I like, I botted him all the way here, and that one baby got out of the bot and just walked into the distance. And it probably is still roaming the icy plains somewhere around here. I'm not sure if I can actually find him. I mean, he's obviously not being eaten by anything because, well, only strays spawn around here. So, um, yeah, there's no zombies to even eat him. I'm pretty sure he just left. Started his own village. Oh. Oh, so that's where all those baby villagers were escaping. Wow. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Why is there so many of you? <laughs> okay, kids. Um, We have fun in the nether for now. I'm gonna come back for you when it's time to zombify all you. Or maybe, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna push a zombie into the nether portal at this point. <laughs> oh, wow. You poor, poor things. <laughs> I should have barricaded my nether portal better. Okay, I wonder if this works. Check this out. What if we drop them with the boat? Are they gonna jump out? Okay, I, th I think... Yeah, I think they jumped out. Yeah, they jump out, sadly. Or else I would just... <laughs> dip a boat with babies... <laughs> into the vat. Drag out a boat with zombie babies. <laughs> uh, if only I could remove the one that's already in there. Nope. Not what I wanted to do. Yeah, for some reason there's also a bug where... It seems like only adult zombies can turn baby villagers into baby uh, zombies. Which is a little, a, pro a little bit of a problem because... Yeah, like four of those disobedient children ended up... Burning in the sunlight on me when I attempted to move them and somebody slept because one player sleeping is a thing Oh, well, oh, well, yeah, I'll have to get get them a new nanny. I guess For now for now 
Everything's kind of a place for the trap. Well, I say kind of, it's really not. Right now, right now, the way this works is one lever here, one lever here, one lever here. We put this. You heard. The hatch opens, skeletons pour out. You click here. Hatch opens, skeletons pour out. You click here. That actually is the default state. You click here and the hatch opens and that's where the baby zombies should have com been coming out of. These little bits behind the walls. Um, not really conspicuous, not at the moment, not until it's already too late. And yeah, that's uh, the, the baby zombies is the one thing I want to be able to control. But, uh, because they are kind of a precious resource. They are basically name tags converted into tiny terrors of from hell. And actually, you know what? You know what? Truly Better has it easy. On the sadly vanilla, on my on the Java server I used to play on, I was able to equip them with diamond gear. And they were much more of a threat. Truly Better got off easy. Well, it hasn't gotten off just yet. <laughs> this is but one couple of rooms which several ideas implemented and you guys are just warming up too. So I will be re reading every single comment as per usual, um, waiting for some ideas and waiting for some inspiration. Meanwhile, I myself have eh, a few, a few thoughts on the matter. And one of those thoughts is a hatch with baby spiders in it. Well, not baby, the cave spiders, you know, the poisonous ones. Together with the zombies and everything else, they would be quite the enemy. But then again, I might as well just apply poison to people uh, via the potion bottles. Really, really, I feel like this mansion slash bunker thing was a great idea. And I'm gonna have so much fun killing people using it. But whatever, whatever, whatever. For now, for now, it is what it is. And I have a lot of work with villagers and with the redstone rewiring in front of me. Yeah, my work is literally cut out for me. Well, not literally, but cut, cut out for me. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of it. And there's a lot of it to do. So, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Prankus. This has been Zloy XP. This has been Truly Bedrock. Do subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed yet. Do leave a like if you enjoyed the video. To be continued, have a good one. Bye-bye.